Hello and welcome back to another weekly vlog at the new apartment. As you can tell from the background, the apartment is still very messy and we basically have not organized it as I like was expecting to be honest with you. I feel like by now I envisioned the apartment to be pretty organized. And even though it's really, really stressing me, I feel like it's very realistic because when we see things on social media, everything seems so perfect and so well organized and put together. And I even see other friends that have moved like be so organized so quickly that it kind of puts me down or stress even more about the situation. So I've decided to just take it day by day, do things slowly, and hopefully everything should come to place little by little. So with that being said, we have been building furniture the last couple of days. I'm going to share some snippets here of the two pieces that I recently got. One is from Amazon, which is the cabinet that I'm going to share. And then I ended up getting the Ikea Collapse, I think it's called, the cube storage. So let's show you guys us building it. All right, so I'm quickly going to interrupt the vlog to share with you guys, if you haven't seen already on my Instagram, my collaboration with Peachbox. Early this month, I shared on Instagram that I collabed with Peachbox. This is my first collaboration ever where I have like say on what goes in to the box. Um, or just like the actual product that is being sold. So I handpicked all of the items for this specific box. It's the Natalie box. It has all of my early fall vibes, basically everything that I love and use on the daily. So I wanted to quickly share with you guys in case you haven't seen it already and show you all of my fall favorites. This is everything that comes inside of the box. It has a cozy neutral blanket, a bath bomb. This one in particular is eucalyptus because it's one of my favorite scents to relax. This cute little gold scooper, which has like a clamp. A coffee maker slash greca. This is my favorite thing to make coffee. You guys already know that. And it's the cutest size. And then this little mug to go with the coffee theme. We have here a gold pen, a planner. I love this because it has like a note side and then the week off so you can write everything for the week here and then your notes on the other side and last but not least this cute mint modern sprout which you basically grow yourself it's the coolest thing ever and i feel like the actual container is so aesthetically pleasing but that's pretty much everything for my peach box i am in love with it it's literally like all of my favorites in one and it's currently available on their site i'm going to be linking it down below for you guys in case you're interested in buying it i think it's the perfect gift for a loved one for yourself for the holidays coming up it's super cute and cozy and perfect for the fall and winter but yeah that's basically my collaboration with peach box i am so in love with it i hope you guys like it as well thank you so much to everyone that has already purchased it all the links will be in the description box so make sure to check them out but now back to regular programming of the vlog all right so excuse the mess on the side i need to clean this bathroom today as well but this is a cabinet i am obsessed with it it's so perfect for this 
specific corner and we got it in particular to use it as a linen closet or basically just like storage for the bathroom i love the size i love the fact that it has one two three four five different cubes and it's really deep as well so i think this is great if you're looking for more storage in your apartment like i am i feel like storage is really important so anything that gives me more space to organize and put things away makes me happy so this was a great price as well i'm going to link it down below for you guys i originally got it from amazon but it's currently sold out or i guess it was sold out for prime day so i'm going to be linking it down below if i find it on amazon if not they also have it on wayfair so both links will be below now for the ikea storage i love this cube organizer I've been seeing it everywhere and I honestly really wanted a smaller version of it but I feel like this is the perfect size because I can organize other things in here aside from just yarn. I also got the covers, like to cover two of them at least from Ikea. I find the size to be perfect, it has 12 different cube compartments and it was actually sold out at the Ikea in New Jersey so we had to get it in Connecticut but it was totally worth it because I really hope I can Put all my yarn really nicely organized as you can tell everything is still messy out here so with that being said let's move on to the office this is what the office is still looking like i feel like it's exactly as i left it the last time i shared it with you guys my dilemma with this room is honestly how i'm going to be organizing everything without making it look too heavy on furniture because realistically speaking there's going to be a lot of furniture in here like these three alex nine drawers are really bulky in my opinion but very necessary for me and all the products that i use and have and get and then in the center i have the desk which again i don't know if i'm going to keep it there however i do love like the view and just how peaceful it is when i sit there and edit like it's not as dreadful editing now with like the view and stuff which i love so then moving on to this side i kind of want to get rid of my clothing rack However, the only reason why I have it, if I'm being honest, it was for fashion hauls, which it's kind of like necessary because I do like the idea of making fashion hauls with the items displayed on a rack. However, I don't know if I want to keep it in this room and make things even more bulky with furniture and stuff, if that makes any sense. So I don't know exactly what I'm going to be doing with it, if I'm being honest, as of right now, but I'm just going to keep it. My plan is to put the Ikea mirror, my Hovit mirror, right, like, leaning on that corner, and then the rack right next to it, and then the cube organizer. I just want the room to look more airy and peaceful and not so busy so then for the bookshelf this in particular i'm going to be keeping not necessarily for my shoes anymore but more for storage and like hiding things so i ended up getting two doors from ikea as well which i find it to be such a great idea so i got the doors that are clear on top and then covered in the bottom so then in the bottom i'm going to put like my printer my sewing machine and like other stuff in there that i don't necessarily want displayed so what i'm thinking about this bookshelf is putting it right in this corner as in like right when you walk in because it fits perfectly i measured it i think however my only concern about the bookshelf is that it's going to be the very first thing you see when you walk into the room so i feel like that automatically it's going to just make it look busy already I guess it just depends how I organize and decorate the top and make it more, you know, like a cute little bookshelf decor as we see all over Pinterest. So let's move that and see how that works first. All right, this is what it looks like from the side not a huge fan of this and then this is what it looks like with the door completely open which is not so bad if i do say so myself um i don't know it's still up in the air
All right, so this is what the room is looking like. I decided to take all of the plants to the living room for the meantime until we get more furniture in here and then actually put the plants where I want. This frame needs to be hung right here, but I think I wanna wait until the bed gets here to know exactly where. And then something else that we need to get are nightstands, one for both sides, obviously. The TV is actually going to be mounted in this corner here whenever Eric decides to do that. I actually ended up getting a like accent chair from Target, which I've shared on my stories, and I'm hoping to put it in this corner. Let me show you guys if you haven't seen it yet. This is what the Target chair looks like. It was such a great steal, I find. So I'm hoping to put it in that corner like I mentioned. And if you're wondering, this is the tag. With that being said, now that the room is clean, I'm going to move on to the bathrooms. So I have to fully clean the bathrooms. I think I'm actually going to start in Eric's bathroom because he's been asking for this for I don't know how long. I actually heard so many great things about this Dawn spray to use for the bathroom. So I'm going to try it out today. And then all of these as well. Showing off. Don't wanna have to wait tonight. Wait tonight. Bets are off. I'm gonna find my way tonight. Wait tonight. Won't you talk to me? I wanna heal your sorrow Won't you talk to me? We'll make a new tomorrow Won't you talk to me? One night to find the answer Won't you talk to me? What makes this happy faster? So it is the next day. I ended up cleaning the bathrooms last night. I still need to put stuff in the cabinet, like the new Amazon cabinet slash Wayfair cabinet. I was too tired last night when I took a shower to actually clean the shower. So I'm going to be doing that today. And I wanted to show you guys my new chair. I feel like I haven't updated you guys on my vlog, but I have updated you guys on my story. So if you follow me on Instagram, you already know the story behind these chairs. So like I shared in the last vlog, I was in the hunt for these exact, like these exact counter stools, but they were $500 each, like 490 or something each. And I just, I couldn't put myself to buy three of these. So I went randomly to HomeSense after I got the Target ones that I shared in link on my last video. And I found these, I ended up finding them at HomeSense for 179 each, which is still a little pricey for counter stools in my opinion, but with how I see things in the market, these are a great price, especially for how modern and just my style they look. So I am so, so in love with them. I also wanna thank one of my followers because I ended up finding two originally and I needed the other one. So her name is Stephanie. Thank you so, so much, Stephanie, for helping me find this one and getting it for me. It was such a pleasure meeting you. But yeah, you guys, I'm so, so obsessed. I'm going to link similar ones down below that I have seen at a more reasonable price than the 500 mark, but definitely be on the hunt for your home scents in case you find them because they're so, so beautiful. I feel like once everything looks nicely put together and organized, um, I think it's going to look really nice. Probably wondering why I have a drying rack opened and like, in such bad shape i honestly don't know how to disassemble it or like close it basically i was only able to do one side so now it's like 
just standing lopsided another random update if you guys have been following me for a while now you know that this is the first puzzle i made when COVID happened i don't know for me it has like a really like special attachment to it and it's such a beautiful puzzle that i wanted to frame it so badly i ended up getting a frame from uh michael's and it was like a black frame and as you know i have like mostly everything white i got it because it was like the most closest size to it but it actually had some white remaining parts which i didn't really mind because i know there's ways to fill up a frame if it doesn't fit perfectly however i found this one that fits perfect from ikea and it was white so i am hoping to either hung it right there if not right over here however this is a lot bigger than um the actual frame so i don't know if that's gonna work or put it um right in this corner because it's like kitchen related and it's the kitchen so yeah that's what it looks like it's like a restaurant i'm going to link it below if i find it but it was a christmas gift for eric last year in one of those white elephant games um for christmas so i i really really love it now you're probably wondering what this box is this came in this week and it is my christmas tree i know it's a little weird it's just like the end of october halloween hasn't even happened yet but i ended up getting my christmas tree because i found it on somewhat of a sale and christmas trees could go so expensive especially around this time of year so i ended up getting this one it's a 7.5 i really really wanted a nine foot tree but eric just wasn't having it he says it's too big for this apartment but the ceilings are so high that i felt it was going to go perfect so we decided and by we i mean him <laughs> to get the smaller size even though i really wanted the bigger one now the back boxes are the doors for um my bookshelf which i am hoping to put it today and then everything in here looks somewhat more organized than it used to but i still need to fix all of this as well and as to for the outside yes i honestly don't know where to begin and it's the main reason why this has stayed this way because the fact that we don't have like a tv stand to put the stuff that were in my old tv stand like organized i can't like i don't know it's just too much something else i really want to organize today hopefully is the coat closet so the coat closet is actually going to be kind of like our storage closet where i'll be putting my christmas stuff um my luggage basically anything that's out here that doesn't have a place i'll be storing it in here there's also liquor and bar stuff here because we need to order a bar cart today uh, i don't know i've had a really hard time trying to find the perfect bar cart that i am hoping to put in this corner so i really hope i'm making some sort of sense and you guys are getting the vision that i am having in my head um another thing that i need to do today if you're wondering is the closet it is back to being messy not a shock not a shock the one place that i am really happy with how it is currently looking like is the room because it's like the cleanest so i'm going to make the bed first can't wait to finally have a bed frame to be honest all right so this box actually has all the linen i'm going to get it out and hopefully organize it in the cabinet that i have in the bathroom All right, so we are going to be putting this in the bathroom now. Eric is actually. And I'm contemplating on putting it right here. 
like in the center of that area. I don't know if it looks too bulky. If it's gonna feel weird, I don't know. Or across over here next to the actual shower. But I feel like that looks weird there. So these are the towels that I actually like from Target. It's the only one that I buy because I like them to all look the same. And I feel like the material and also color works well with my makeup situation. Eric really wants us to get white towels, but not in this house. Not in this house, even though I love white towels. Maybe I'll get them for my bathroom. No, you're not, so. All of the cabinets are open. <laughs> I feel like I never show myself cooking in my vlogs lately, but I am making some rice and chicken today and I just wanted to share that. I am also doing my dishes in the dishwasher. Honestly, such, such a great feeling, such a great feeling. Eric is having red meat, I am having chicken and I'm going to season more than I normally do just so I can have it throughout the week. So I just like adding some garlic in my little pilong add some salt to that which i did and then cut two limes and then add my adobo I mentioned a few months ago that i stopped using goya for the obvious reasons but also because they have so many bad um, ingredients in their products as well especially the adobo so i decided to switch to an organic one and the one that i've been using is this one from loisa I'm going to be linking it down below for you guys. It's really, really good and organic, which is the best part. So I'm going to add this, almost forgot, some oregano as well. All right, dinner is ready. Just some white rice and chicken, like I mentioned, and having some apple cider on the side. Good morning, you guys. Today I am going to be fully working on the closet and finishing it up i got some more hangers so i can finally hang everything that's in here on the floor i still need to get some more cube organizers but i am considering getting a shorter mom dresser and possibly putting it where i'm planning on putting the pants i'll show you guys later but i'm going to finish my bathroom i got a couple things from amazon that i need to install inside of the shower so let's get to that so these are some of the things that i got for the shower i actually ended up cleaning it with this so i saw this going around on tiktok and i figured i would give it a shot since it's my first time ever having a shower it's still drying because i just took a shower but hopefully it leaves it like without any streaks like it claims i don't know if i did it right because it said that you needed to spray it twice i think and i only did it once but whatever so far i really like it it left it super clean and without any like streaks if that makes any sense i just hope that once it dries like all of that it looks pretty clean and perfect in a way so yeah i got one of these to possibly install it in here i don't know if it's going to look too bulky or maybe i should just put it um in this door what i'm excited to put in the shower though is this i didn't want to drill inside of the shower obviously so i got this one that claims like it's going to stick um it has like these stickers you can also drill if you want but i'm not i don't know if i trust these little stickers to stay for a long time although it doesn't get a lot of water where i'm planning on putting it which is like right over there i also got this little soap holder this one in the other hand compared to the other one seems a lot like stronger of a tape so i think this one will definitely stick longer So this is what it looks like. It actually brought tape to like, I guess, make it tighter. My only thing is that I feel like there's space in between. So I'm just gonna let it 
do its thing. It's nice to leave it 48 to 72 hours, so two to three days. I'm going to leave it for three days so it could actually stick and hopefully it really works on holding my products. So I ended up installing the soap one right here because it's a little darker than this silver and it kind of matches more towards that wall. And now, last but not least, is the cleaner. So I got this snuggly sweater diffuser from Target. That's what it looks like. It smells really good pretty light so hopefully it actually like lingers around the apartment and then i also finally decided to get this vase which is a wooden vase i was obsessed with it it's 30 dollars considering the fact that it seems to be real wood i think it's a great price but it's also a little pricey compared to finding other things similar to it at home goods i just added my old pompous up here it's kind of like I don't know how I feel about it just yet, but hoping to put this in the entry table that hopefully we could get soon. So many of you guys have been recommending to get the like shoe organizer thing that IKEA has to put um, in the entryway. I've seen it and it actually fits perfectly here. However, Eric didn't really like it. I wasn't vibing with it too much, but realistically speaking with how hard it has been to find anything remotely close to the measurements of this little corner i feel like we might have to go get it since we're unboxing stuff i decided to get finally the dot the amazon dot i have been contemplating getting it because i don't know i feel like it's so weird to have something like this that is technically a robot that listens to you i don't know how to explain it i just i don't feel too comfortable having something like this but i do see the benefits of owning one so i finally got myself a little dot to you know just listen to music and stuff like that in here alexa how's the weather outside right now in white plains it's 66 degrees fahrenheit with cloudy skies today's forecast has intermittent clouds with a high of 68 degrees and a low of 57 degrees thank you have a good afternoon enough procrastinating organizing my closet so about to do it i have all of my summer stuff here i don't know how i feel about that just yet um just because i don't want to see summer stuff right now if that makes any sense like i i don't know i i just rather see winter stuff right now but i am going to see how i organize this and put everything in hangers the clothes on the floor are actually not all dirty but some are so i'm going to situate this situation you're not going to believe what just happened i have been id-less like i've been without an id for the past 10 months because i lost it i knew it was somewhere with my clothes but i just didn't know where and i looked everywhere for it and i forgot that i put all my winter clothes away and look what i just found <laughs> my id which is expired so it doesn't even great great So update on the closet. I mean, <laughs> for some reason, I feel like it still looks messy, but it is mostly organized. These are not all of my shoes. I'm hoping on adding some shelves like I've mentioned before here. And then I also was thinking of getting a mom dresser from Ikea, like a shorter one. So I can put everything that's in these boxes in there. 
but so far so good i'm just glad that i got rid of some boxes all right so i'm here about to situate this little corner of stuff that we've recently gotten and i wanted to show a few things that i am returning but basically just random stuff that i've gotten recently starting with this um shower head i feel like it just didn't really fully work for my shower so i'm going to change it and ended up ordering one from amazon i also got these poopery thing and then these bumpers but i am going to be returning all three for eric's car we got a vent mount and then i decided to get some christmas little towels from target i got these flats and then some black ones that are they look like this they're back in the closet and i also got these super cozy leggings so so soft and warm oh and these little cookie cutters for whenever i decide to make cookies again and then i actually have all of our receipts in here because i don't know i feel like i'm very indecisive right now and i don't know if i'm going to keep a lot of the stuff that i've been getting recently for example this yoga mat that was 12.99 i've been looking for a really cushiony thick or thicker kind of yoga mat so this one seems good and i like the color so i'm going to test it out and see if i like it more than the one that i already have these are some smart lights which is pretty cool because you can connect them to your alexa oh gosh see this is why i didn't want one of hers are you trying to shop for smart lights alexa shut up another random purchase from tj maxx um are these drying balls i actually have some but are like wool and i decided to try these out i feel like these work amazing for your dryers and to just basically dry your clothes a lot quicker and this shower cap i got it mainly because it has like these sticky things that you can just stick in the bathroom and i think it's nice to store bath and body works i got a bunch of little plugins one for my bathroom another extra one maybe for like the living room or something these are all of the soaps that i got i absolutely love these for the bathroom and then for the actual wallflowers these were the scents that i got so yeah